we are working on the human factor project uh, where we're using uh, simulators and uh, eye tracking glasses uh, with different exercises we are trying to look how a novice and an expert uh, eye tracking eye movements are different and trying to bridge the gap between them decision making process by an expert and a novice would be different and that's what we are trying to find out what uh, uh, is the difference is uh, an expert more situationally aware and how he is he doing that what information is he getting uh, from this, from the display screens uh, and how is he reacting to it uh, how he is he communicating the risk which he has perceived that way uh, the communication is better, uh, his risk perception is better, and uh, we can decrease the time to act on that matter. I, I attended the audition, audition conference for the first time now, but uh, I, th I think uh, there are hu huge, huge campaigns, uh, I thought. This is a wave prediction system. We are using a V system to measure the wave height, but that's very expensive. So in our concept, uh, we are using drone to measure the wave elevation. The characteristic of this system is that we can predict the uh, height of the wave uh, 30 seconds before it's arrival. That system is cheaper and more convenient. Here we have uh, a display uh, screen uh, on the simulator uh, where we have different parameters. So as you can see here, over here, this uh, dot represents the eye fixations uh, of the person. And if he is, is looking at that point more, it means he is he's trying to get the information out of that parameter and make a decision. Uh, if there's a problem, if that, that parameter changes drastically, then he might take a decision based on that. But if he is not fo if that is changing, but if he is not focused on that parameter, then there is there will be a time delay uh, in his uh, action that can cause a blowout. So that's what we are trying to do. We are trying to uh, correlate the eye movements with respect to the decision making process.